What's up, everybody? My name is whatever the hell I make my internet name. Uh, we'll figure that out at some point. Anyways, so here we are. This is Stream of Consciousness, episode one. I was sitting here, and you know, I've always wanted to make some, you know, YouTube videos or something pretty peachy like that. I don't know. But then, you know, the idea of editing makes me want to ball my eyes out and just crawl into a deep abyss. So I thought, hey, I'm pretty smart. I got some, like, good views and like i can be funny sometimes and i just play fall guys and just talk about stuff in the background so that's what we're gonna do all right so uh topic one we're gonna talk about material type love so you when you think about it let's be honest humans like to um make ideas up i guess to make yourself sound better like a better person but that's just all bullshit the reality is people with stuff money and all that stuff are just genuinely you, you want them more you will want to be in a relationship with them more it's for many reasons one of the reasons is because if you have money in all your cars and stuff that means you've had more opportunities in life equaling you've had more opportunities to grow and you've experienced more meaning you have more stories all that shit blah 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 people like to think that like you can just find love with whoever the hell you want but no don't lie to yourself you are not a saint none of us are saints we are humans and we kind of suck I mean, like, there's just so many things to talk about in this. And also, if you can tell, I didn't script this because this is the first episode and who the hell is going to listen? Anyways, it is just objectively an unfair, like, it, love is just unfair. That's the only way I can explain it. The person with the cars and all that stuff, you are just going to desire more. It's just how it's going to work. It doesn't matter. So, I mean, some people, yes, there are exceptions where people are like, oh my god, I'm in love with the poor dude. But guess what? That's just really not going to happen 90% of the time. Who are you going to prefer? If it's the exact same person and one of them has, like, nice cars and stuff, and one of them just doesn't. They're the exact same person. Which one are you going to choose? We all know the answer to that. And don't give me the bullshit of, um, I don't know because I'm not like that. I would choose either. It doesn't matter. Yeah, no, you, honey, you're choosing the guy with the car, too. Freaking, it's just, it's just happening. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. And what does that mean? That means we want that type of stuff. Because if we didn't, we wouldn't think that. Anyways, moving on with that whole entire thought. Let's just keep it going. What else we got? Other ways to prove this. Hmm. It's just an objectively unfair thing. And the worst part is, too, about it, is there are people who legitimately are, like, setting themselves up for life and stuff, and, like, you know, great people and all that stuff. But you don't, you can't get to know that person. That person does not exist to the rest of the world. It's just not going to. The first thing you're going to see is the things in front of you. Everybody be like, you know, what actions speak louder than words? I bet a car speaks louder than me saying, hey, you're pretty. Okay, anyways, moving on to the next topic. Well, we're going to talk about... Hmm, what do I want to talk about next? Let's talk about well, using random words incorrectly. <laughs> I tend to have, like, a more enriched vocabulary than I would consider the average person. Um, and don't be like, wow, what a fucking prick. It's just, it's just probably a reality, except it. Anyways, freaking... So, one of my friends has, like... He's, I've always talked to him, like, in that more, like, enriched vocabulary. And he's decided to come on to, like, the concept that... He's just going to start using fancy words, too, and thinking that, you know, I, like, I'll better appreciate it, and I'll just make better, like, a friendship in the end, is what I'm assuming. But so today I got a text saying about two people in a relationship, they're just tender for each other. I might block him. I legitimately might block him, because you can't... Using a more, like, unused word can make you sound smarter, that's just how it works. But when you use it in a way which just is just incorrect and just doesn't make sense, I want to put a bullet in my brain. I don't want to be near you. I don't want to speak to you. I might put a... I, I'm considering putting a three-day ban on talking to this type of person because, God, it just sucks. All right, anyways, moving on to our final topic, which, honestly, I forgot. Let me check my notes on my phone real quick because I don't care enough to make a script. Oh, yeah. All right, so now we're going to talk about knowledge making you alone. People, there's people that search for knowledge and there's people that don't search for knowledge. And people that search for knowledge, like, I think in society, yeah, so I could be like, oh, wow, they're going to have a much better life. Or like, wow, like, they're, like, much cooler is kind of what we like to think. Yeah, no, that's just wrong. I love searching for knowledge. Knowledge is great. 
But guess what? Now I know something that everybody else in the world doesn't know. And even if other people do know, it is a select few. So what? Now I just get to have more information in my head that I can't share with others. Because if I do, they're just going to be like, oh, is that what that was? And then move on. It's just, it, I just don't know how else to explain it to you. Knowledge will make you alone. Because of the simple fact of if it's something only you know, or only a select few people know, how are you gonna talk to other people about it? Even if you, even if they are interested, what's gonna happen? You're just gonna tell them the whole story. You're gonna tell them every single fact about it. You're gonna be like, oh my god, this is a really interesting topic. Why don't you tell me more about it? And then you realize you've been talking alone for the past ten minutes because they don't know what to say because they have no information. Anyways, I think that's gonna do it for now. So, um, yeah, uh. Do I do like like subscribe? Is that what I do? Do do that? I guess I don't know. Uh, maybe another episode will come. Maybe it won't. I don't really know. This was probably not the greatest, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. You know what? That's how it works. I'm sure all of these are not gonna have topics as deep and like kind of dark as this one did, but like you never know. I mean, if you like that, that's cool. If you don't, maybe I can talk about like Hello Kitty next time. I don't know. I'm sure I can figure some stuff out. Well, have fun.